Champions League away days are back at Tottenham Hotspur. And in this video, we have a trip to Lisbon. Now, I've already learned how much does it cost for Nottingham Forest away and West Ham away. But this time, we're going to do it for Sporting Lisbon in the Champions League. Detailing the best ways to get there, the flight costs, food for the day, ticket prices, and then, of course, anything else we might spend on the day. And hopefully, this video can give you a little insight in case you plan on traveling away in the Champions League in the future. to five in the morning. Very early, very tired. I hate getting up in the mornings. But we are outside Bergamo Airport. I don't know if that's exactly how you pronounce it, but we're now flying to Lisbon. I'm hungry. Let's get some breakfast. It's now 20 past five. I've got a prosciutto focaccia, 7.50. Nice room and toasted. Peach has tea. These have been a life save while we're getting in Milan. It's four euros. Cappuccino and a water, 560. One hour down, but just a little two to go. And we're off the plane. <laughs> right, so we've landed in Lisbon Airport. Weird, they didn't actually do any passport control whatsoever when we came through, which I found very weird. First time I've ever had that in the port. But in terms of the price of the flights, we actually had to change our flights from Milan home to Milan to Lisbon. London to Lisbon would have been a lot more direct because of the whole inflated prices with Spurs traveling. But I'll put the price on the screen now, how much it cost us. It cost us 45 euros each to actually change our flight on top of the, I can't remember how much, was that 80 or 100 each for the flight itself. But yeah, now our mission is to get on the metro to head into the city. All right, it's five to ten in the morning, and we are in Lisbon, Portugal. Cousins, Hoz, and James are already here. They stayed here last night, so we're gonna go find them. I think they're having some breakfast. We're gonna need some food as well. Well, that was our second breakfast complete. We worked out about nine euros each. Now it's time to meet the cousins and maybe have a drink while we wait for Airbnb. Okay, we made it to our Airbnb and I'm sweaty as anything because we just had to walk up so many stairs. But this is a very, very cute little apartment that we've got from Airbnb. You come down these little steps and it's just this little apartment. It's got TV, nice sofa. I actually think that basically is like a single bed as well. Yeah, it looks like a day bed. Cute little kitchen. Double bed in a bedroom with the best part, AC. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, that is necessary after a long walk up some stairs. Woo! And finally, we've got the bathroom, which is actually very modern and very nicely done as well. So, this was the price for one night for this Airbnb, which I think is actually very, very reasonable, especially with the football going on. And it's a cute little apartment for one night. Great result. Damn, we have a very pretty church right near where we're staying. It's time to get to the square, get our drink on, meet some of the Spurs fans. Ready for Spurs versus Spurs. 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 What, what do you think the score is going to be today? And who's goal scorer? I think it's going to be 3 1. And I'm saying Kane's getting two and Kulivesi's getting one. I'm calling it now. Comedy Spurs. Comedy Spurs. We're on the train, heading to the ground now.
Another one the for half. I mean, we had a goal to that half side. Clearly, it was. I think we've been the better team in the sense of we pushed them into their half a lot more. Apart from the offside goal, we haven't had a real clear chance. Mark said was obviously he's looking good, but their final end product has not been that great. Both teams really just not created enough chances. It's been a bit frustrating first half. Can't lie. It's the mood after all of that to see an abysmal display but to be fair that result had been coming we've not been playing well for well since the start of the season really so the only positive i can really take is that hopefully this is the game that you know kicks us into gear and we actually start performing and conte actually you know just trusts our bench a little bit more a little bit more rotation from the current starting 11 where some of them just aren't necessarily performing as well but all that's left for us to do is to head home and for that we are going to porto to fly back because direct back from lisbon far too expensive so we're getting the bus now which is still part of our 24 hour pass from yesterday heading up to the orient station in lisbon taking that to porto and then from there we'll be flying back to luton i believe the flights back to luton weren't that expensive at all um, and then the train to porto was only about 30 euros each so i've added that to the price here's the total for the trip and yeah that's pretty much how much it costs to watch spurs in the champions league away in portugal against sporting lisbon